I paid top dollar for what I thought was DDR5 RAM. And when I opened up the box, it didn't turn out to be high speed sticks. At least that's happened to one Reddit user that goes by the name Leading Growth 8361. He is the first victim with fraudulent behavior with DDR5. Unfortunately, this is more than likely going to continue to grow, especially in the year of 2026 and so on. Chris Mizo here. If you're not familiar with Ramageddon already, please check out the video right above. Or if you haven't gotten a GPU yet, make sure to check that video out as well. Would certainly appreciate it. And also welcome to the channel. Shout out to Unico Hardware for finding out this disgusting behavior. You know, there's nothing worse than a scumbag taking advantage of someone who is in need of PC hardware. This isn't the first time that scammers have taken advantage of the PC community. The PC community can be some of the best people in the world. But first, let's talk about what the hell happened. Leading Growth was in need of RAM for his upcoming PC build. Just like anyone who is building a PC, you can't start up a PC without RAM. He opened up his package and he noticed something was a little bit off. One of the heat spreaders seemed to be a bit loose. So then he reached out for the other stick and that heat spreader was also just as loose. Both of the RAM sticks replicated each other. So at first he didn't really try to think too much about it. Then he went to reach for the second RAM stick. As he was pulling it, the heat spreaders had come off. Obviously, at this point, anyone's heart would sink. Leading Growth was unable to identify the RAM, but he came to the conclusion that this would not fit in the motherboard of his choice. All that was left behind the stick of RAM was thermal pads and something that was definitely not Corsair. After the discovery of this not being DDR5, we've come into one conclusion. Ironically, in the same breath, some PCMR users encouraged those who were in need of DDR5 to go ahead and make the purchase and just swap it out with some faulty sticks. Or, better yet, even swap them out with some dummy sticks. They'll never know the difference, right? I mean, we're getting screwed anyway, so it's equal, right? Some Reddit users out there feel that this behavior is justified, that everything that they're doing right now is unethical. Another user from Reddit, loud enough for me, also faced a similar issue. He sent in his DDR5 RAM to Corsair to get RMA'd because they were defective. They were about 96 gigabytes, and one of the sticks was just not working properly, so he had to send the whole kit. Today, he finally received the RAM, and to his surprise, they didn't work. He took a closer look, and he realized that the pins looked a bit odd. It didn't look like your typical gold fingers for DDR5. Then he asked, did he somehow get fakes from Corsair? To his realization, he ended up getting some lighting kit enhancements instead of his 96 gigabytes of RAM. But luckily, Corsair was able to make the right adjustment because he was able to get on the phone with a real person. You know what's unethical? Being a piece of this doesn't affect those who are just purchasing RAM. This could even affect someone's job because Corsair or any other RAM company, team group, are not going to be held liable for this matter. It's all going to fall down to who accepted this package and who shipped it out. And then people wonder why it's such a pain in the ass to return PC hardware, especially something simple as RAM. Now, I do gotta apologize for the tangent, but that is one of the main reasons why costs can go up. Unico Hardware had researched this matter a bit further, and he compared the gold fingers to see how they would match up. When you look at the comparison between a DDR5 and DDR4, they look pretty similar for the most part, except that DDR5 has this illusion where it seems like it's kind of a bit longer, but they both equally have 288 pins. DDR4 is slightly off-centered in one position, and then when you look at DDR5, the notch is in a whole different position entirely. I remember first seeing this on the 12th generation Intel processors, back when Elder Lake was around, when DDR5 was first released. At the time, it was also quite turbulent, and it was also near impossible to get some DDR5 RAM then. 
This was done for cases such as this. To prevent RAM such as DDR4 being put on a DDR5 board, as they have quite the differences when it comes to voltages and technical specifications. DDR5 has a bit of a wider curve at the ends. Compared to a straight edge as you would see on DDR4 and to prior generations. DDR5 is also typically quite taller compared to DDR4 and it is also a bit more complex when it comes to PMIC and other components. Sadly, I had to share this just in case if others run into a similar issue. If one of your sources is to obtain PC components on the internet, such as Amazon. And oh yes, in fact, the shipment happened from Amazon where he had purchased his 32 gigabyte DDR5 kits and they sent him DDR4 instead. When purchasing PC components such as RAM, make sure that the seller is a legit source. You can easily check it out the seller's description. Just make sure it's legit. Example, you'll see a Corsair store or maybe a team group store or even the official Amazon store. You don't want to buy from any shady retailers or any shady small business retailers. This isn't the first time that somebody has experienced grief when it comes to purchasing PC components. Luckily, Amazon's customer service is excellent and hopefully it will remain that way. But if charades like this continue to happen, we'll be wondering what the hell happened to Amazon service that we all know and love. When someone purchased a RTX 5090, in return, they ended up opening up the box and it was some sort of bag. Someone went to go purchase a RTX 5080 and when they opened it up, they found rocks. And this happened on multiple occasions. Just imagine how pissed you would be if you ended up in a situation like that. Especially if it was either the RAM or the GPU that you received that was the very last component that you needed in order to complete your PC build. Sure, these stories can sound pretty funny. On a more serious note, this can affect pricing and most importantly, your PC build. So if you're making a purchase from Amazon, make sure it is from a legit store. If you're purchasing from Newegg, also the same thing can also happen. Purchase legit from Newegg or a official store. As we all know, the used market can be quite a volatile area especially places like Marketplace or Scambay, I mean eBay. There's a lot of upset hardware PC enthusiasts out there. Simply Takuma grieves of how terrible the market is and how some sellers are selling RAM for a ridiculous amount of money. For this, this seems like end times due to Ramageddon. But one thing's for sure, we all know this is not going to be the first time that we hear this. I'm pretty sure we're all going to hear some sort of disappointing stories soon, which we're all going to dread to hear. And all we can really hope for is that they put something in place for price gouging and scalping because it's gone on for quite long enough. If you purchase a RAM kit or are planning to purchase one, make sure it's from a reputable seller. If you buy used, be mindful of the notches. If possible, test out the RAM kits to see if there's stability. It's certainly sad that we've reached this point. But let's hope for lighter news, especially with CES 2026 right around the corner. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.